welcome to just vibing vibes welcome let's talk about love island tonight episode okay the episode opened up with kiran coming back from his date with lolly kiran is smart smart my guy held his hand in his back like this and said you know like a waiter or something like that his hand was like this is like everybody this is lolly i'm like you're well trained kiran he knew not to be in any close proximity with her because nicole was going to cut his head off even with that nicole did not even watch because she was worried and she's asking the girls oh was she was he holding her hands or oh, was he holding her hands i'm like wow nicole like honestly i feel like now they are perfect for each other because i do think that he's gonna be like living in bondage like i would not want to be in that kind of relationship where someone is not trusting of me but it is what it is anyway grace and ruben um they had another chat and then ruben feels like it's time to take it to the next level and then they kissed while they were kissing grace was holding his hand the whole time like every time he wants to kiss her she's like, her hand is like that like she hold his hand to kiss him and i was like i noticed that the first kiss i noticed the second kiss i had to write that down i don't know i've not checked her other kisses to see but i don't think she was with joy she was holding his neck i remember the other kiss like no i mean and although they know each other but then that gesture of holding his hand to me i don't know nothing about body language that much and you know i mean all those people that i don't study psychology and all of that so i don't understand but for me that just feels like she's not opening up to him and my com and that was confirmed during her recoupling speech where she said that she's open so she wants him to be open and i'm thinking grace you're open to know who who do you want to know who are you open to know is it connor that you want to be with because i'm confused here or are you trying to tell jerry that you're still open <laughs> because i don't know it's above me honestly i feel like it's time for grace to go but now she's coupled up with ruben so and i like ruben like i like ruben so i don't want ruben to go like honestly i'll have to split my voice for ruben to stay so i don't want ruben to go so that's a problem because i do want grace now like what's the point like what's the purpose of you being there anyway actually let me not lose focus sean needs to go first i like matilda but sean and matilda can go then i and jess can go then yeah i don't know whatever maybe they'll do favorite girl and favorite boy again and then grace can go because or when they do um not compatible and then they split them maybe they do that and then they split the couples of they cannot be together with each other then maybe that would be what would happen honestly because i do need her not coupled up with ruben because he doesn't deserve that kind of vibe from her okay so mimi put her for a chat ah when i saw that i was like oh my gosh she's the one that put him for a chat because obviously i've seen the first look and i was I was kind of a bit worried i can't lie to you i was hoping that she has a lot of sense than that but at the same time i was a little bit worried because like because the way they they made it i knew that it was editing but if you don't say something i'm not gonna edit it like um you know so i was like what's happening but then she put in for a chat they had the chat he asked she said uh, boundaries they need to set boundaries, and he was like and uh, is that what you want to do and she's like uh i don't know bro and then she started laughing like i feel like you should have just said yes i know she's a mental health nurse and every time she's thinking about how someone else is feeling and all of that stuff but i think it is time for her to not put anybody else's feeling in consideration i need her to be a little bit more brutal than she is she's too soft like in her delivery of things i need her to have a bit of punch to it you know what i mean i need her to have a bit of that but i guess if she had that she would not be the mimi that we all know and love but i would love her still if she had a bit of punch she needs to kind of have a bit of punch like yeah let's set boundaries we'll be friends but anyway whatever the case is she did she still passed the message along that they've not been friends since they've been in this villa they've been no they've been like more than friends so now it's kind of weird for both of them being in the same environment and all that stuff so she's just saying that they should learn how to be able to coexist but in such a way that it will still be you know what i mean that would be good for their partner so that they don't feel the kind of way the people that are coupled up with so that was so she was just setting boundaries and friend zoning him in a very nice mimi fashion she's not giving it to him i wish she did like give me a, like you know what i mean let it be like it's a punch you know what i mean that's what i wanted her to do but it is what it is she didn't do that but i'm happy that she did it anyway and then josh obviously was on the other side and he was not happy about it yes guys saw her talking to him the other day smiling in the kitchen and now she's smiling with someone else. Of course, I'm not be okay with it. I'm happy Josh is not okay with it. Who would be okay with that if you really like someone? So he was fuming about it. 
and then uh good thing he still asked that when they were in bed he, no he just said that they are going to talk tomorrow but i know that she pushed on it she's like what is it and then that's why i think they didn't show us obviously they just showed us her explaining to him that um they are done for now you know what i mean like they like the whole thing like it's done it's done now like it's done now so that was good i'm glad that that was sorted out i just i still want that to have like a point like never again i will never do that why would i go back to that oh ew like I, you know that's the kind of thing i want that to be like to do like ew never why would i do that go back to my nah never i was in bondage now i've seen the light you show me the light you know something i just needed her to have a bit of but well, i mean me is mimi but i'm happy that she's closed things off with that guy over there and then the next day, Jess is having a conversation with Ayo. Ayo kind of just pushed on that because obviously Josh pulled him for a chat. I like the way he pulled him for the chat. Come hang with me, bro. Like, come let's hang. <laughs> Ayo was sweating. He was shivering. Like you can see, he was just sweating like sweats. <laughs> sweats. The sweats was not for second, for second. Oh, sweats. Sweats. Oh, shit. Oh, sweats. I'm like, <laughs> Anyway, my guy turned to advisor, trip advisor. Uh, yeah, Mimi, what you have? Just continue doing what you're doing, my dear. Uh, the worst part is that I you never use this mark to tell anybody that hey, she she ended things. We're just talking about boundaries and how to actually live in the villa together peacefully as friends. That's what he needed to tell Josh. That's what he needed to tell Jess. Because even with Jess, just we had a conversation. What conversation? She wanted to talk to me about something. What is this something? And then he's like, oh, do I need to tell you now every time I'm talking to Mimi? I like the way Jess reacted, honestly. Because that guy knows how to take a piece. It's so funny that Jess and Mimi, they are talking and they are like, oh, and he always talks in riddles. I'm like, ah, it never makes anything clear. You know, it's very difficult to chat with him. Now you can see that he is definitely the boring one. And Jess speech saying that, uh, the energy, what energy, Jess? Because I can't see no energy, but if you feel like it matches, it matches. Anyway, Mimi said it was an easy decision in the recoupling to choose Josh because of the way, obviously, he is. I like the fact that she put that, like, she, Mimi knows how to say something sweet. But that was a slap. That was the first time she gave him, like, you know what I mean? That's the first time, but yeah, it was an easy decision. I like that. And the whole recoupling was everything that we expected. Lolly, I was thinking maybe she could pick Ruben, but she picked Connor. So apart from that, everything just went the way we thought it was going to go. And then Kieran asked Nicole to be his girlfriend. And she said, yeah, yeah, yes. Of course, yes. Now, Jesse put in Lolly for a chat to say, oh, uh, he told me something. That's not how I went about it, girl. <laughs> you were a bombshell. You went about things the way you went about things. Remember, you didn't tell Uma when Will was saying that his head is kind of somehow going to us. You didn't say nothing. So please don't tell someone how to move. The girl came, she moved the way she wants to move. She feels like, obviously, we're not seeing Joey that much, honestly. We're not seeing him, like, smiling and cheesing that much like he was before when he was with Grace. So, it feels like he's, like, the the light, you know, the, this thing that he, he was radiating is kind of a bit dim. And that's true. So, she said what she said. She felt the way she felt. It's not your business that, like, oh, I, I, when I came, I did not do the same thing. You and her, you're not the same. Is your name Lolly? I do not understand what that chat was about, like, who she was trying to son. That's how he felt like she was trying to son her. Honestly, that was shit. Connor and Lolly chat. Oh, you're sweet. You're this. You, you're energetic. Where's the energeticness? Because I don't know. She says that over and over again. I think she, when she was saying that, I was like, are you talking about Ruben? Because Connor is not really energetic. He's quiet. He might be playful and all of that stuff. You know, when I see Connor, he's just kind of like cute. That's what I would say. Like, it's like, I don't know to do. Oh, hey, buddy. You know, that kind of thing. That's what he gives me. I don't know. He does not give me sex or feel vibe. He just gives me like so cute. Yeah. So that's it. And everybody's like, he's the sweetest. Maybe he's not the sweetest. He doesn't talk to favor you, honestly. So I don't know. It's what it is. Sean be hating on Mimi so much. Like, oh, and uh, 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 Josh is very bit hungry. He's like, like Sean, why is it like, that like you have a hat on for Mimi? Sorry, you have to ask Matilda to get that thing deflected because like you know what i mean to help you release the tension the pressure you know what i mean so that you don't have blue balls because this your hard done is getting too much at this point it's not even medically safe for you to have a hard done for this long it's giving too much it's giving the blue pills even viagra guy rest <sighs>
So when Ayo had that whole chat with Jess, asking her if uh, he has to check in with her every time he spoke with Mimi, and then she went straight to pull someone. <laughs> Grace was with Mimi. Why did she not pull Mimi to just ask how the chat went? Instead, she put Grace. I was like, why are you putting Grace? But well, she put Grace to say how she's not mad that he chatted with Mimi. She's mad the way he talked to her. And then obviously, Ayo was advised to go and speak to her by Connor. And then he went and he pulled her and he spoke to her and she told him off as she should. I don't feel way for her telling him off because he deserves to be told off. I feel like I like Jess for that because if he's Mimi, I mean, we would have just like understanding, understanding, understanding girlfriend doesn't pay, understanding whatever partner, understanding partner, understanding couple, love, whatever. Nah, you have to tell people how it is. I like the fact that she did tell him off. Good for him. I think this is important because I don't care about it. But Sean and Matilda are now exclusive. They went on a date. Cool. Fine. All of that. Recoupling happened, obviously. Lonely chose Connor, Nicole, and Kieran, and her boyfriend and girlfriend. Grace chose Ruben. Made a speech that was so shitty. She shouldn't have even made a speech at all. Jesse chose Joey. Matilda chose Sean. Mimi chose Josh. And then Jess chose Ayo. That was that. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on Sunday night. Bye-bye.